I grew my hair out for two years and then buzzed it all off. And here's why. Every human being celebrated. Because I motherfucking wanted to. <laughs> and the video, that's it. Uh, no, there is more explanation, but all in all, literally summed up, that is the reason why. I am going to take you on a little journey through this, but um, while my hair finishes processing, I'm hoping that it works out. If you can see, it's kind of like a, it's supposed to be an ombre. <clears throat> so, let's go back in time three years. I was in a relationship, and I was living in Utah. I was very self-conscious back then. And I dyed my hair blonde. My whole inspiration was Jack Frost, um, and dyed my hair, and for about like four months, kept up with like the keeping it platinum to brassy yellow color, fully authentically. <laughs> and then I have really bad psoriasis, so doing that consistently, maintaining the length, all of it, just meant for really, really painful scalp itching and really, really lots of like bleeding and. It's like really bad. My psoriasis is quite bad. So then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna shave it all off. Boom, made the shave. Literally loved it so much. It was my favorite thing. I am at like Pride that year and I went to Peru and it was really fun. I'm trying to think of like the things that happened around that time. And even when I posted it on my Instagram, I got so much love for it. People were like, wow, this looks so good. Oh, I did a whole photo shoot around like almost like a, being in a, Egyptian pharaoh. I thought I looked very pharaoh-esque. Um, so I made that and got lots of positive feedback, but got just like a few negative comments about it. And from those comments, me being the cute little 19-year-old Michael Wayne created the story that having short hair is undesirable and people won't celebrate you, and having long hair is desirable and is really good and you should do that from literally just a few comments. <laughs> Blows my mind, but um, that's okay. And from that then, I literally decided to start a hair growing out journey for like three years. It became literally the most beautiful hair you've kind of ever seen, and I had ever seen, like it was so uncommon how naturally curly and beautiful it was, and it was so soft, and it was so interesting because I literally hated it. It was so beautiful and I hated it so much because subconsciously and deep in there, I knew that the only reason I was doing it was for other people. I wanted just to look good and for people to think that I was attractive. And I just assumed that if I ever shaved my head, I would be ugly and that people would judge me and that my family would judge me. And after literally like six months of unnecessary stress of every morning waking up and not liking how I look or it was so much upkeep to do my hair. Long hair is so much more work than humans with short hair ever realize. <laughs> and my hair wasn't even long long, it was just like to here but really curly. After about six months, maybe even like eight months of consistent like everyday waking up like why am I not shaving this, I decided to do it. And it was interesting because one of my fears of like family not really being supportive of it was true. Um, but that's okay. Family gets to be family. They get to be them. I get to be me. And we get to just be ourselves in this world. I guess I also wanted to share three main reasons why I did the big, the big chop. Um, one was just for manageability. I hated how much time I was spending on my hair. Two was similarly, but kind of like self-consciousness. Every time I looked in the mirror, I would either absolutely love how I looked or absolutely hate how I looked. Like if my hair wasn't curling right. And I hated that. That was not fun. To literally so many times when I looked in the mirror, hate how I looked. Um, and third was my psoriasis was getting so bad. Cause when I grow my hair out, it's like beautiful, but like the, like the, insides of the hair or like where my scalp is is always so oily and no matter what products I use or medications or things it just kills from pain. Psoriasis is no joke and I want anyone who has it to feel not alone and that it really does suck. <laughs> 
since making the big chop, I'm, all of those things have been fixed. It is so easy to deal with my hair. I just wake up and there's nothing I can do with it. So it just is, and it's really enjoyable. My self-consciousness and self, like, my image when I see myself in the mirror is really fun because I think I look very beautiful and I look very, both beautiful and like striking and like so, uh, yeah, both gentle and like a little kid and also like really intense, like a editorial model and I love it. Um, and then my psoriasis is doing so much better. It's so good to just let my scalp like breathe and feel good. Um, so yes. It's really nice that like two years later now, since the first time, those comments are very, they don't, they're very insignificant now. Um, I mean, they do have some significance. I'm not saying that they don't hurt at all, but I'm definitely in a better space where I can just hear them and be like, wow, hair, literally the color and the, the look of my hair is causing you to be triggered and negative to me. You need to get a life. <laughs> Um, but for real. <laughs> oh, I want to share a quote that helped me be inspired and constantly inspires me to be myself, kind of no matter what. I don't remember who said it, but it's the quote. Those who matter don't mind, and those who mind don't matter. So yeah, if someone cares what you look like, they really don't matter. <laughs> and if they do matter, they shouldn't care what you look like. They shouldn't care how you express yourself in this world. That's the reason why I made the big chop. Just kind of wanted to share. Wanted to share some thoughts uh, with you. And I hope you're having a beautiful day, wherever you are, in this world. My wearable art line just went live like a week and a half ago. Um, so if you want to support me in that way, it means the world. And I love my art being all over the world. Uh, like five days ago, at my, I got my first international order. It was to Denmark. I love you if you're from Denmark. Thank you. Love you. The Danish human. <laughs> um, and yeah, I should have a beautiful day. Like I said, wherever you're at in the world, you're awesome. Love you. Peace out. Rock on. Thank <laughs> you.